Against the backdrop of modern technology, the fifth generation of fighters is not as effective as expected. That's why the engineers from leading military powers have, for six years now, been developing new and frightening technologies already set for sixth generation fighters. And you'll learn all about one of these in today's video. Oftentimes, fighters that belong to the fifth generation should actually be ranked lower. For example, Many experts point to the relatively modest performance characteristics of the well-known F-35, and the mysterious Russian Su-57 has insufficient stealth against the background of the American F-22 Raptor. China has also not been overlooked, with its J-20 being accused of either being too large or it being called controversial from a purely conceptual point of view. And this is despite the fact that it is the only fifth generation fighter in the world created according to the canard aerodynamic design. Simply put, there are no clear criteria for this whatsoever. So what can we say about the sixth generation, with which the situation is even more complicated? The main difference between the sixth generation and the fifth is perhaps the ability to perform all the same tasks, but without a pilot. This is a logical decision given that the trend of switching to unmanned weapons is gaining momentum more and more. But such aircraft will most likely have the option to have control with a pilot and remotely. So who exactly is now the main leader in this arms race? For a long time, the leaders in the creation of sixth generation fighters were considered the United States, which for a long time remained the first in the world in aircraft creation. But this couldn't last forever. Change came in 2018 when three countries, France, Germany, and Great Britain, simultaneously announced their plans to create new combat vehicles. It would be very difficult to try and predict the development of future events, but they all look very, very worthwhile. Let's take a closer look at what's being worked on currently and what's so revolutionary about it. 2018 was the year when the most technologically advanced aircraft, the British Tempest, was first announced. Its layout was initially presented at the air show in Farnborough. It immediately attracted the attention of aircraft designers from all over the world. It must be assumed that it was the UK's exit from the European Union that gave life to the program for its development. What is the Tempest exactly? The layout that was displayed is unlike any other fighter. The first thing that catches the eye is its unique appearance. Apparently, the vehicle was made according to the tailless aerodynamic scheme. It received two keels deflected to the sides, as well as two whole engines. And it's worth talking about them more in detail. The Tempest is supposed to be incredibly fast, which is why it boasts special multi-mode aircraft engines that accelerate the aircraft to supersonic speeds in the shortest possible time. The sound wave from it is so powerful that it can literally demolish houses if it flies by too low. Furthermore, the pilot will even be able to control additional combat drones, and will also have a genuine laser weapon at his disposal. British engineers also want to create an onboard control system that would work in conjunction with self-learning artificial intelligence. All this will make the pilot an addition to the aviation complex. He'll be the one making only the most important decisions, and automation will take over other numerous related tasks. We can also see a similar approach on other modern machines, in particular on the F-35, but it isn't on the same level really. Still, there is one aspect that sets the Tempest apart from all other fighters. In 2018, BAE Systems revealed the concept of a virtual cockpit for a promising fighter. It involves an almost complete redo of the instruments in the cockpit in their usual form. All information is shown in the pilot's helmet-mounted display, so that he's not distracted by the instruments in the cockpit. It looks like a science fiction movie, except it's all reality. Granted, the Tempest will receive one touch screen, in case of failure of the helmet-mounted system, all for the sake of reliability. And we can't forget about invisibility, of course. In addition to the standard reflective skin and external shape, manufacturers also want to equip the aircraft with a system that blocks most of the radar technology. This, and a non-binding canopy that helps reduce visibility, is yet another useful feature that this incredible fighter has. It should be understood that by the time industrial production comes around, all these details can be reviewed and changed. 
we can only say for sure that, like any modern combat aircraft, the Tempest will become part of a completely new combat command system that allows you to receive and process information in real time. Looking at the success of the UK in the aircraft industry, other countries are also trying to keep up with the trends. Every now and then, news leaks out about the development of other 6th generation fighters. What have other countries achieved so far? To begin with, let's talk about Sweden, which has extensive experience in the development of fighters from previous generations. They didn't exactly stand out with something new, and simply offered to cooperate with Great Britain in working on the Tempest. This decision isn't unreasonable, though. Apparently, Stockholm has finally and irrevocably buried the fifth generation national fighter, known in narrow circles as Flig System 2020. A small country with a population of only 10 million people cannot afford such a program. Such cooperation could prove very beneficial for both parties. France, Germany, and Spain also teamed up and created their next generation fighter. Previously, these were only rumors, but the situation started to clear up a bit when Airbus Defense and Space showed their concept of a new generation fighter with the simple designation of New Fighter. This aircraft looks like a cross between the F-22 and Su-57. No detailed information was provided on it, except that it's set to become part of a large-scale program. This is potentially the most expensive and complex military development in the history of Europe. The sixth-generation fighter is its most important, but far from the only component. In addition to this one, the Europeans want to create new unmanned systems, weapons, and surveillance systems. All this, as you might have guessed, is intended to make up a single system that will be a key element of security for these countries. The leading role will be played by the French from Dassault Aviation, who developed the Rafale fighter. Although this one didn't gain much popularity around the world, the fighter turned out to be too expensive, costing more than $80 million per unit, and there weren't many who wanted to buy it. The second most important participant in the program is Airbus, and before long, the Spaniards also announced their participation, as they will be responsible for armament and testing. Russia is also working on its own 6th generation fighter. Officials have already announced this publicly. According to them, the new aircraft is supposed to be made unmanned from the get-go with the possibility of optional piloting. Russian aircraft designers, in their own way, preferred not to disclose the details of their work. But according to some reports, the new aircraft will have much greater maneuverability and stealth than the previous Su-35 and Su-57. Laser weapons were also not forgotten here, of course, and will be included in the development program. However, there is no information about exactly what it will look like. And finally, there's the United States, which every now and then aims for having the first place military in the world. They went their own way and put a lot of effort into building and refining the previously mentioned F-35. This one has great potential, since this aircraft has not yet exhausted its potential for improvement, and if it can be made unmanned, the Americans will only benefit from this. Additionally, a significant part of the country's defense budget went to the promising B-21 Raider Bomber, which we'll be seeing very soon here. In this arms race, there will only be one winner, and it most likely will be Great Britain with its Tempest, since this is so far the most promising and real concept presented. Of course, there is still the possibility that the UK chooses to not fully exploit its program, the cost of which already exceeds $50 billion. But for now, the British are overwhelmed with national pride and nostalgia for the great empire that Tempest might try to restore. That's all we have for today. If you enjoyed this video, you can show your support by leaving a like. Your support is our motivation. Also, don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one!